Hey everybody, welcome to Bird Tech. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about how Epic says there should be one universal app store. All right, welcome back. Of course, this video, make sure that you like, subscribe, more subscribes to get the more content we can make. Number one reason why you subscribe to this amazing YouTube channel is to get the money making trends before they go mainstream. All right, so I'm taking just a little bit of a break from my Udemy stuff just because I want to talk about this particular article that came across my desk. So, uh, as you probably know, there's been a huge spat between Apple and Epic Games about the App Store. And the App Store is probably a really good example of a very, uh, it's a very good marketplace, right? Uh, the thing about the App Store, though, is that it's really closed and there's probably going to be a lot of news uh, of that in the future. But what Epic is saying is that there should be one universal App Store. And I think this is an absolutely good idea. But let's take a look at some of the things that need to happen in order to make this universal App Store work. Now, one of the things about the App Store is that there is a lot of technical requirements. So if you had a universal App Store, uh, you would have to make sure that it works on, you know, iOS, Android, PC, right, uh, PC, Mac, and then the consoles, right, at, at the very least, right? And there could be some, uh, some other different stores in there that would, um, <laughs> that would require um, extra, extra work here. But those would probably be the big ones. Android? Apple, um, so Android, iOS, or Apple ecosystem, we got Mac, PC, and then let's say PlayStation and Xbox, right? And you know, this would be really good. It would be amazing if you could just make your game or your app in one spot and then just upload it so that it could work on all devices. That would be amazing. And what would be even better is if you could use something like Xcode, because believe it or not, I actually really like Xcode. Xcode and Swift is probably one of my favorite development environments of all time. I like it better than Visual Studio. I think it's really good. And if I could make a PC app on Xcode, Xcode, I think that would be amazing. Or if I can make a web app as well. And I think this would be really cool. Uh, but however, uh, I don't think Apple's going to uh, like that. Uh, they're going to push, of course, as much as humanly possible. Because again, they're a publicly traded company, if not one of the most valuable companies on the planet. So they're going to push back with this. But however, I do like the spirit of this. This would be really good. Now, we kind of already have a store that is it kind of does this and that's Steam. However, Steam would have to have a lot of other things uh, going for it in order to make sure that iOS and Android would actually work. Nevertheless, if there is a universal app store, one of the things Apple does really well is the review process. And I think the review process uh, needs to be there. And of course, there needs to be some kind of fees associated with the review process because of course, it can take a lot of time and money to actually review an app. And that review process really does limit the malware. Now, we do not want an app store, a universal app store, uh, that has a bunch of malware on it. That's not what we want. So there has to be some kind of gatekeeper. Now the gatekeepers would probably do something along the lines of not filter for content, but filter for any kind of vulnerabilities like malware and stuff. And the reason why they would do that is because, well, you know, if it was filtering for content, uh, that would be a little bit more tricky to do. Now, of course, there could be a decentralized platform, but again, the big problem is whether or not you can sideload apps onto iOS devices. And that's really the big crux of what Apple's trying to fight. They really don't want to do that. Now, having said that, they could probably up their developer fees, right? They could make it on a sliding scale. So if you have more users, then you might have to pay more, uh, et cetera. So there's a lot of different options for them. But of course, Apple's gonna fight this tooth and nail. And I think a universal app store would be amazing for developers. Imagine making your game or app in one particular spot and just uploading it to one app store and just having all of those uh, all of those issues uh, be taken care of so that you can deploy your app to anyone who wants to use it. I think this is absolutely amazing because believe it or not, the upload process to Apple can take a long time. It can take almost the same amount of time to upload it to Android. And of course, this doesn't uh, include time if your app fails review. Now, it's also two completely different processes. So if you want to upload to the App Store, it's going to take, well, you know, a certain amount of knowledge to do that. And then Android, something completely different, let alone PC or Mac. Now, having said that, it would be amazing if you could do this. And I think it would be a really good idea. So I'm very much in favor of Epic <laughs> of a single universal App Store. I think it's a really good idea. All right, so that concludes this video. 
let me know your thoughts. Do you think a universal app store is good? Do you want to sideload apps onto your iPhone? I want to know your comments down below. Remember, this channel doesn't do Patreon said we sell our digital products down below. More money to get for the content you buy below, the more content we can make. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.